the second Dohra, one, the book of Isaiah, and he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far, and will hiss for them from the end of the earth, and behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. None shall be weary nor stumble among them, none shall slumber nor sleep, neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosed, nor the latchet of their shoes be broken, whose arrows are sharp, and all their bows bent, their horses' hoofs shall be accounted as flint, and their wheels as a whirlwind, their roaring shall be like a lioness, they shall roar like young lions, yea, they shall roar, and lay hold of the prey, and carry it away safe, and there shall be none to deliver, and they shall roar against them in that day like the roaring of the sea. These characteristics, i.e. none shall slumber nor sleep, and, and are the qualities of the Gaim companions, as stated in the narratives about the family of Muhammad al-Islam, who will lift up the ensign, and he will lift up an ensign to the nations. This means, the one who asks for bayah, allegiance, and gathers the defendants and supporters of Imam al-Mahdi al-Islam, Jesus, Elijah, and al-Khizr al-Islam, the eleventh chapter, and there shall come forth a shoot out of the stock of Jesse, David's father, and a branch out of his root shall bear fruit, and the spirit of Jehovah shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and the fear of jehovah and his delight shall be in the hearing of his ears but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked and righteousness shall be the girdle of his waist and faithfulness the girdle of his loins and the wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leper shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of jehovah as the waters cover the sea and it shall come to pass in that day that the root of jesse that standeth for an ensign of the peoples on to him shall the nation seek, and his resting place shall be glorious. All these incidents are convenient to the minor judgment day, and it has never occurred and will never occur except for in God's state of justice. As for Jesse, he is known in Tohra as the father of David, the prophet of God, the mother of Imam al Mahdi is of David's descendants. Al-Islam. Her story in brief is, she was the princess of her grandfather, the Roman Caesar. She once saw in her sleep Jesus, the prophet of God, his executor Shamun al-Safa, and prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad asked Jesus for her hand in marriage to his son Imam Hassan al-Asqari al-Islam, and Jesus al-Islam said to Shamun al-Safa, or to Salman Botros, you have gained a tremendous honor because she is the descendant of Shamun al Safa, Sam'an Botros, executor of Jesus. Following this incident, she saw a lot of visions and risked her life into slavery. She also had a lot of miracles until she reached the home of Imam Ali al Hadi and he got her married to his son Imam Hassan al Askari when she gave birth to his son Imam Muhammad bin Hassan al Mahdi. So, Imam al Mahdi, Muhammad bin Hassan al Mahdi, is a descendant of Israel, Jacob from his mother's side, and descendant of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from his father's side. Therefore, the verse, a shoot out of the stock of Jesse, applies to him. Also, it is proved that the first Mehdi of the twelve Mehdis is a shoot out of the stock of Jesse since he is a descendant of Imam al Mahdi. The first Mehdi, who is called Ahmad, as stated in the narratives of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Imams, Islam, is the messenger of Imam Mehdi, Islam, his executor, Yamani, the first believer in him since the beginning of his appearance before he has resurrected through by sword. I will stop here for conciseness, and if you want more information, read the Tohra, the book of Isaiah, chapters 13, 42, 43, 44, 49, 63, 65, and 66, and understand them well. 3. Book of Daniel, 2nd chapter. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold a great image, thou sawest till that a stone was cut 
out with our hands, which smote the image upon its feet that were of iron and clay, and brake them in pieces. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken in pieces together, and became like the chaffs of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away, so that no place was found for them, and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain, and filled the whole earth. This stone which will annihilate the kingdom of the idol and Satan on this earth, is a messenger sent by Imam al-Mahdi Jesus salam, Elijah and al -Khizr. Chapter 7 Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven broke forth upon the great sea, and four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. The first was like a lion, and he had eagle's wings. I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked, and it was lifted from the earth, and made to stand upon two feet as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. And behold, another beast, a second, like to a bear, and it was raised up on one side, and three ribs were in its mouth between its teeth. And they said thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon its back four wings of a bird. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. After this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, terrible and powerful and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and broke in pieces, and stamped the residue with its feet, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another horn, a little one, before which three of the first horns were plucked up by the roots, and behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man, and a mouth speaking great things. I beheld till thrones were placed, and one that was ancient of days, and did sit, and his raiment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool, his throne was fiery flames, and the wheels thereof burning fire, a fiery stream issued, and came forth from before him. Thousands of thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. I beheld at that time, because of the voice of the great words which were horn spake, I beheld even till the beast was slain, and its body destroyed, and it was given to be burned with fire, and as for the rest of the beasts, their dominion was taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. As for me, Daniel, my spirit was grieved in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto one of them that stood by, and asked him the truth concerning all this. So he told me, and made me know the interpretation of the things. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings. They shall arise out of the earth, but the saints of the Most High shall receive the kingdoms and possesses the kingdom forever even forever and ever then I desired to know the truth concerning the fourth beast which was diverse from all of them exceeding terrible whose teeth were of iron and its nails of brass which devoured broke in pieces and stamped the residue with its feet, and concerning the ten horns that were on its head, and the other horn which came up, and before which three fell. Even that horn had eyes, and a mouth that spake great things, whose look was more stout than its fellows. I, I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints, and prevailed against them, until the Ancient of Days came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be a fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all the kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down, and break it in pieces. And as for the ten horns, out of this kingdom shall ten kings arise, and another shall arise after them, and he shall be diverse from the former, and he shall put down three kings. 
and he shall speak words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. He shall think to change the times and the law, and they shall be given unto his hand until the time and times and half a time. But the judgment shall be set, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom of the dominion and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Here is the end of the matter. Book of Daniel chapter 7 The lion which has wings symbolizes the English Empire, which had emerged in Europe, and had a lion with two wings as an emblem. Bear is the emblem of the Soviet, and it ate a lot of flesh, meaning killed a lot of people. As for the fourth iron animal, it is the American Empire, which stepped upon all the land in the present, and controlled it with weapon and money.